Hi everybody. I decided to make a video to do a little walkthrough of the Passion Planner. So the reason why I'm doing this review is because journals and planners, well, if as you know if you're following my channel, um, you know how much I love journaling. And I think planners fall into that same category for this reason being that you're writing things down and you are... You know, writing things down on uh, physically on something that's physical that you can hold in your hand, it, it's been proven to be more um, therapeutic than typing digitally or using a phone, for example. So I think planning, using a planner is just as important as using a journal. And the thing with planners is they don't have to be, you know, you don't have to just use a a plain old daily planner for your to-do list for the day. You know, they don't have to be that boring. They can be like things to help improve your life. And that's why I want to give my little review walkthrough of the Passion Planner because this one in particular is really super awesome for building your dream life or, you know, improving your life. So this one here is actually I think it's a couple years old. I'm not quite sure what year I got it, but I've had it for a long time and I don't always use it. I mean, I use it more now than I used to, but the thing is they're, you know, they don't even if they're dated, they can still be used anytime. And also, I did check on their website and these planners are they haven't changed a lot. <laughs> so the brand new 2021 planners look almost exactly like this. So I'm going to go through and show you what's all in this. So the first page is going to give a little explanation of how to use it. So I, I just ignore all of my writing that's going to be in this video because I have used this for a couple years, so there's going to be a lot of writing in it. But So there's a passion roadmap, so you're going to write a wish list. Oh, it's 2016, I guess, is when I started this. So then you're going to make a wish list for one year three months, three years, and lifetime. And then over here is where you create your passion plan, and it, it kind of guides you through the process. And this is a great page. This page gives you instructions on and information on why passion planning works, why writing works, why prioritizing works. So basically, this is going to explain to you the same thing that I tried to say, but I'm probably not as good at it, um, explaining why planning is therapeutic. So it's, it's a lot like journaling in that sense. And here's a, there's going to be a four, a four year monthly spread, year at a glance kind of thing. So this journal comes with one little ribbon here. And so this is going to be the example of the monthly spread. So as you can see, it's, it's the two pages both. So you got some space to write in each day and so this is undated. Although the planner came out in 2016, they don't have the, as you can see, there's no dates. You fill in them yourself. So that's why I think you can even buy an old version if you can find a cheap one. You know, they're, they're fine. You don't need it to be the updated one. And like I said, the 2021 is almost exactly like this. I couldn't hardly see any differences. So you're going to have this month's focus, the monthly writing check-in, so it gives you some little examples of how to keep yourself accountable notes to self and then down here you got personal passion projects and goals top priority project and then other projects work projects and goals so you got them separated by personal and work which i like because if you're like me and you have a business or if you just want to use this for per for work related business um ideas whatever you can you do that here so then on the side there's a section it says, break it down, create a mind map of this month's game changer. So this is the section where you're supposed to create a mind map. I've never used it for that, but that's the beauty of these kind of planners. You don't have to follow the rules. You don't have to do what they say in each section. You can use the sections how you want. So then in each month area, they have a monthly reflection page. So from 1 to 10, how do you feel overall about this past month? What was the most memorable part about this past month? What were the three biggest lessons you learned in this past month? Review your planner for the past month and assess your priorities. 
And then, you know, they just kind of word it in different ways. How are you different from this past month, from the month before? What are you grateful for? Name three things you can improve on. Things like that. So then, there's 12 months, so I'm going to skip forward to the actual day pages, which are right here. So this is what the pages look like, the weekly spreads. So Sunday through Saturday, and then I'll have this week's focus, good things that happened. And then over here in this little section is a nice little quote, inspirational quote, motivational quote. And then a personal to-do list and a work to-do list, kind of a lot like the, the other one pages. And they're separated into three sections. You can't tell because of I've been writing in this, but the top ones are the top priority and then priority and then errands. So they kind of separate everything into neat little categories. Over here it says take notes, draw, journal, or brainstorm. So, yeah, they, they don't have lines in this section because it's a good place to draw things or do it like a mind map. But I just use that as another section to write in. So as you can see, these days start at 6 a.m. And they go in half-hour increments. So 6, 6.30, 7, 7.30, and so on. And then it ends at 10.30. So I like that because, I mean, everybody's got to schedule things in with the exact hour, especially if you're running your own business. And you have a lot of appointments, things that are scheduled, things like that. So the rest of the book, as you can see, I didn't, I haven't been using this consistently, so I'm, and I'm doing it, I'm not doing it exactly right. <laughs> like, the first couple of times I did this, I just used the monthly planner for everything. And now that I'm done with the months, and it's been a couple of years since I've had this, now I'm just doing it differently, and now I'm just using the weekly planner, which works fine too. It's very versatile that way. And then after, I'm going to show you how many more pages there are here. Like, this this is all, this section is all for the weekly spreads. And then when you get done with the weekly spreads, then you get to lined pages. And these are great for lined notes and journaling. And then after the lined pages, you got a, a batch here of the dot grid journal. Well, not dot grid, I'm sorry. Um, The little squares. I'm not even quite sure what these are called. Um... Yeah, I, I'm blanking right now, but you can see it in the picture. They're like drafting paper, maybe you'd say. So that's the planner. That's this amazing planner. I love it. And um, so these are, this is the large size, the 8.5 by 11, and this is, I believe it's $35 on the website. And you can also buy smaller sizes and a medium size. They've got three different sizes on their website. I think the website is passionplanner.com. I will put that in the description because I don't... I'm, I'm sure that's what it is. I just didn't... <laughs> I didn't double check before I started making this video. So, what I wanted to do next is give my pros and cons of this planner. So, I'm going to go through the pros first. I kind of did already say them as I was going through this, but... The pros are that it's pretty thick. I mean, look at how thick that is. The pages aren't numbered, but I think there's a couple hundred in there. So it's thick. And it's undated, or at least this one is, so that you can um, do you can use it whenever. Like I said, I actually started using this two or three years ago before I even had a business. Like if if you if I go back to my it's kind of embarrassing actually. If I go back to my first page of my monthly assessment, um, I need money, I'm trying to make passive income, I don't like my job kind of thing. And then later on, I, I didn't use this regularly, of course, because after I started my Etsy shops, January of 2020, and I have, you know, I'm getting a, an email list. I've got money coming in from my Amazon books. I've got a couple blogs. I've got a couple Etsy shops. So, and this is the kind of stuff that I started planning once I started using this regularly, once I started actually earning money from my business. And then I was able to use this planner in a different way. And that's when I started filling out all of these. And my list every day was... Like, I, I probably shouldn't have done it this way, but I tried to cram everything in each little square. I wrote things down here for my ideas, for my business. 
and that did work for me for a while. I mean, it still it still would have, but then I ran out of the monthly pages, and then I started to use these weekly ones, which work just great too. Um, I also use bu bullet journals, and I also yeah, I I've I've just got all sorts of um, ways that I plan and ways that I write things down. So this journal, one of the pros is that it's versatile. You can there's sections for everything. There's sections. You know, it's very, you can, you can use it even if you don't, like, have a plan. <laughs> you can kind of make it what you want, make it, make it how you want. And it's, yeah, like I said, it's, it's, I'm definitely getting, getting my money's worth because look at all these pages I still have yet to use. I've been using this mostly for the last couple years and I still have so many pages left that I can use. So, um, also another pro is that it's, um, very good for people that are trying to plan their ideal lifestyle and it's kind of how I actually did it when I first started using it I didn't have my business I didn't really know what I was doing I just knew that I wanted to plan my dream life and so that's one pro that I can say is that it helped me achieve that and it helped me it helped give me a place to write things down so that I can you know make these things happen so those are two very big pluses, and also I guess the, the cost is a good plus, because $35 for something that I've been using for a couple years is great. Although they do plan, they do want you to use this in one year. Like each one of these pages is meant to be a week, so there's 52 for the year, of course. But I didn't use it that way. I mean, if you use it exactly how they intend, then you'll be done with it in a year. But... You don't have to use it how they intend, and I was able to make mine last longer. So now I'm going to come to the cons, the reasons the reasons that I don't, well, I mean, it's not that I don't like it, but the things that I don't like about it. Um, and it's not even this, it's not even the fault of this planner particularly. But as you can see in my monthly sections where I actually had stuff to write in the month, it was... A, you know, and this is probably goes back to just the fault of my own, my fault that I didn't use this correctly. Because I kind of felt like I was running out of space. Now what I should have done is gone to these pages and use these for my daily planning. But I didn't do it that way. And so I guess that's not even a con. <laughs> so just that scratch that. Um, I guess my only other con would be that it's not spiral bound. Because spiral bound is my favorite. I don't like these planners that... They're bound like this. Sorry, you can't, it's not very good focus. But it's, they don't open, they don't stay open very well. So let's, let's say I wanted to hold my book open to this page. It doesn't stay flat. But, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> um, they don't make a whole lot of spiral planners like this. So I just had to do with what was available. If, there ever, if this company ever does start doing spiral bound, which I don't think they do. I didn't even check because I, like I said, I'm still using this one. So if this was spiral bound, it would be absolutely perfect. I should say that. So, and also this comes in different colors. I have black. I don't know why, because I'm a, I'm a color freak. I love purple, green, and blue. And that's pretty much the color I buy everything in. Um, so I don't know why I got black. Maybe that's all they had in that year, but now they have more colors. They do have more colors. So, so I guess I'm going to end this video now, and I'm going to say that this is a, an amazing planner. So um, I definitely recommend this. And um, if you are not following this channel, make sure you subscribe, because I'm going to be doing more reviews like this, more walkthroughs of every planner and journal that I own. And I might I think I already did one of these last week for some journals that I bought at Michael's. But I, I plan on doing more of these for everything that I buy, everything that I use. So make sure you subscribe and like this video if you got some benefit out of this and share this with some of your friends that are looking for a planner. And um, I think that is all I wanted to say in this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.